I think we're in the clear. This is such a short or a long zone, depending on how capable the particular player is. You think you can't turn any of these things around. But like, some people will get stuck here forever. And some people will just blaze through it. That last gauntlet's pretty fucked. This will forever be like my one of my favorite like epic boss fights in Dark Souls games. One of the best parts is that the soundtrack sounds like it's laughing at you. Which I use and I use this regular this song regularly in other in other videos. Oh, none of them are dying. They're all falling down. I should I've made a mistake. That's the way to go. Heavier than light. Like, it's just such an epic fight. Like, this dude shows up and this, he's got an army of backup because apparently that's necessary. You're already fighting, like, a, like some sort of mega, like, freaking, like, Autobot attacking you with super giant mega armor man. And in case that wasn't enough, with his giant shield and his giant sword, this douchebag also has an army of, like, six or eight or whatever There's people helping him. They're... Now they're falling off from the heavy attack, too. Crap. Wow, I killed one of them. Great job, me. And then the soundtrack's laughing at you to make fun of you for thinking that you could handle the situation. Like, it's just... It's just, like, we've got a bunch of monks together, and they're all gonna... They're gonna laugh. That's gonna be the soundtrack of this fight. Just thought that'd be fun. Ow, dicks! That wasn't very nice. <laughs> nope. Running attacks. I gotta finish all of them off before this fight continues. Ah. Ow. You can be. You can just fight the the dude without fighting all of his his uh backup if you really want to. I don't really advise it. Cause it's just like uncontrollable damage coming from off camera basically. And that's a bummer. Ow. Oh fuck me. Guess who haven't done this fight for a while? Jesus. You gonna do a jump back? Yeah you are. Oh, what's happening? Oh, Jesus. Misjudged that one a bit. Okay. Can you get away from the wall, please? Your shockwaves are a little cheaty if you're up against the wall, if you don't mind. You know, just to be nice. Ooh! -hoo. Ow! <laughs> he just decks you in the face with his shield. It's also an early example of uh, another boss fight that kind of goes better if you don't lock on, which is true, for, which is also true for Phalanx. So this is the fir the arguable first two bosses, although you technically can fight somebody else now instead, are both not really friendly to locking on, which is in which is interesting. also terrifying because it feels like you're not hurting him at all and you start wondering if something's going horribly wrong. Ow. Let's judge that one a bit. No, 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 no. 
No. I'm fucking up. I'm fucking up. I'm dishonoring my name. Ow. That was a faster follow-up than I expected. Okay, you're just repeating that one now. That's getting weird. I am starting to worry if I'm, like, off-angle or something. I feel like it normally takes less time than this. Ow. Ow. Or do I have to- do I take up both of his ankles? I think that's actually what it is, and that's why I'm- oh shit. I think that's what I'm messing up at. I forgot that you have to weaken both ankles. I was thinking you take out one, then he falls, then you take out the other one and he falls. Because that's how- I think, I think that's how Cuphead bosses worked or something. So that's what I'm thinking of. Ow, ow. Oh, am I gonna be able to reach it? Ow. Okay. You dick. <laughs> I probably should have upgraded my weapon or something. At least once. Ow. You're faster than I remember, you know that? Whoa! Can you come over here a bit? You're like hugging walls and shit. Makes me like backstep directly into a wall when I'm trying to fight you. Ah. I cannot. I am not getting that, that roll timing down. Chugging that crescent moon grass. <laughs> just the most awkward way to take damage. It just looks absurd. There we go. Watch out. There we go. I think I was kind of missing before. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> Tower Knight angry! I am really not doing a good job at this fight. <laughs> I'm abundantly aware of that so far. Whoa, he destroyed the statue all the way up there. What was the hitbox on that one? Nope, 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 nope. Oh. I f okay, based on the sound effects I'm hearing, my attacks are missing like crazy, which is weird because they definitely look like they're hitting. Ow. Ah, really? Twice? Even when I'm locked on, they miss. Ow, dick. Ow. 
chug that crescent moon, which barely heals you. There we go. Will I even be able to reach his head? There we go. Ta-da! What a glamorous death. <laughs> you should obtain the demon's soul and a power that is something something. I did a terrible job. <laughs> but hey, 8,000 souls and whatever this guy was holding. Soldier Lotus. And here's where we get our news, I believe. Did that tell you immediately? I thought it tells you... Oh, well. There we go. I had to get the demon's souls. A thick, colorless fog holds you back. Only those who have slain an arch demon may pass beyond this point. And so we are given an artificial barrier before we can continue beyond this point in the story. And so we are forced to leave Boletaria for the time being. And, you know, wander off elsewhere and go do other things for a bit. Little Lord, little Lord Vesely, a little bit. Somewhat comparable, at least. Hey, Estrava found his way back. Well, you found yourself a demon soul, did you? I'm impressed, yes. Indeed I am. Stay the path, and you will soon be a monster yourself. <laughs> Can't you see me? You've fallen for their trap. You. Have you seen my corporeal flesh? Has my body gone rotten? I'm sorry. Please leave me alone. Sometimes I like to just avoid having a sword at all because I'm just worried. I feel my hands just hovering near the attack buttons. I'm just vaguely worried. I'm like, oh, I'm just going to accidentally press these at some point, aren't I? Which I've done before. That's how I killed the merchants at the beginning of Dark Souls 2 when I first played that game. At its peak, Boletaria was a grand kingdom. The king, his knights, and his subjects were modest and plain, but also steadfast and compassionate. In the distant southern kingdom, Boletaria was known as paradise on earth. But look at what has become of us now. I refuse to believe that this is what father wished for our great land. Here in Boletaria, we speak of the legend of the two swords and the last hero. The two swords are Demon Brandt and Soul Brandt. One sword banishes that which befouls man, and the other banishes man himself. The last hero is old King Doran. King Doran is the everlasting one, founder of Boletaria and protector of the two swords. <laughs> of course, only according to legend. But in the dark state of our land, legends are all we can depend upon. King Alant led Boletaria with a round table of brave knights. The royal twin fangs, Valifax and Bure. Alfred, the knight of the tower. Metas, the knight of the lance. And the brave tribesman, Longbow Ulin and his fearsome legions. But today, Boletaria is an abysmal mess. Valifax was lost, and Bure slipped through the fissure, never to be heard from again. All the rest, along with Boletaria, have been devoured by the fog and will soon be prey to the demons. The Boletarian knights are no longer. But perhaps our age will see the rise of new heroes, such as yourself. But perhaps our age... Trying to make out what he's got there. He's got a pouch that has two other pouches hanging off of it. And then he's got like this coin or seal. Oh, it's probably a water flask. Right. Nice little details. He's actually got baggage. And he's got a little thing on his hip too, which I think I... Do I have that too? Yeah, I have that too. 
I think that's where all my items come from when I'm playing the game. Like, yeah, he's actually got, he's got luggage. Now it's, the choice is ours, the freedom. Because we can't go to Bolotari anymore, we finished the only two chapters that are, we have access to until later. But we can start this place, or that place, or that place, or that place. Or you can go, oh wait, right, they deleted that chapter, whoopsie. Yeah, the intro talks about, the intro talks about the six souls and stuff like that, but, or archstones, but this one doesn't exist. I think there's the one, the land of the giants, right? It's interesting, interesting that like, a, seemingly almost as like a result, the land of the giants would continue to be like this more and more like fabled location from game to game as you proceed through the franchise. Thou seeketh so then Soul of the mind, key to life's ether, out that main thy There we go. So now I should be able to use the bastard sword. The long sword's just a bit small, despite the par the you know the name it has. So I kinda wanna do something bigger. Nice big heavy weapon. Boom. Definitely reminiscent of like the Claymore from Dark Souls and so on. Actually, I think that I think that, that game probably has a bastard sword in it too. Two handing is still a thing in this game. Oof, the swooshy sounds. Alright. But I gotta be fat rolling, right? Yep. So now I need to get uh, higher. <laughs> Significantly higher. Alright, um, it's not great news, no. I have to get like at least like what 76, I believe. I believe that's correct. 76.8. I don't know if I can get there. Thou the soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Soul of the lost withdrawn from its vessel. I assume that's still not enough, right? Yeah. That's gotta be close. <laughs> it's a... It's like a decimal point from being the right number. Great. The side effect of this... Let's see. Sorry, I didn't mean to click on it again. The side effect of this is it's upgrading my stamina, which means that it's actually, it's like tricking me into actually, there we go. It's tricking me into actually upgrading my stamina for once, because I always under upgrade my stamina. I always go in heavy on health and my damage stats and stuff like that, and my stamina is always woefully under upgraded on my character. And, but this game has such a, it expects you to have such high equip burden in order to uh, quick roll. And I'm also insisting on using the fluted armor, which I normally don't because it's so heavy, basically. At least not this early in the game. That yeah, I'm, I'm gonna start the game with like this unusually, uh, this unusually large stamina meter that still only lasts three swipes. Great, thanks for that. How are we doing on them soul items? I think I picked up more. Unknown soldier soul. Unknown hero soul. Renowned soldier soul. Hello, I'm keeping a close watch on your belongings. Rest assured. Put away the long sword, the mail breaker. Got a winged spear. But my, my first playthrough of this game was with a spear, so let's avoid that for now. The spiked shield. Still has 100% damage reduction. They made it surpri- It was surprisingly easy back in, the, in this game to have that much uh, damage reduction. It has minus? Oh yeah, it's just a lower quality shield aside from the spikes. Let's see. Yeah, because you can use it as an, as an attack, but I don't really plan on doing that. Keep the heavy arrows around because I actually have a bow. I don't have a crossbow yet, so the crossbow bolts are kind of pointless. I definitely put away those equip those uh, upgrade items that just weigh me down and don't actually contribute. And the iron demon soul. There we go. Get that clutter out. Ah, 
I'll probably never use an arch, a shard of the archstone, but at the very least, I don't need more than one in my inventory. You have a heart of gold. Don't let them take it from you. Souls, 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 souls. And you scale with what? Mostly with strength, as you'd expect. Let's see into getting some of that there strength. Or maybe even just some hit points. Thou seekest then soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Soul of the lost, withdrawn from its out out me. Now the bonus damage is at nine. It didn't go up at all. Yay! Because the uh, scaling is garbage. Oh well, I'll need strength for other items anyway, too. Do I have enough to upgrade my item? I can forge weapons for you, but a fair price. I've, uh, this is not a research heavy playthrough, so I don't remember the list of weapons that exist in the game and whether not, and which ones are better and worse, but this is a decent place where I can reasonably do some upgrading. Really? It seriously requires four shards of hardstone for one upgrade. That seems that seems irregular to me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They expect you to have a lot, apparently. Oh well. That increased the damage by ten. It also increased the scaling by five. So it's a decent little upgrade to have. And be thankful that I'm still of good health. Do come back alive. I need your business. I need your business. Back in the time that I lived below Boletaria Castle, King Alant left on some strange business, then returned with horrible demons in tow. Soon, the land was ravaged by demons and soul-starved madmen. My spine shudders just to think about it. If I did not have my miracle stone shard, a keepsake of my grandfather, I may not have survived. Have you heard? If you are attacked by a demon, you will lose your humanity. What a horrible thought. Just what would happen then? I simply cannot fathom it. Massa. The number of ways you hear people pronounce Umbasa hello, y'all just showed up. I have sinned. I swore allegiance to Saint Urbane, but was of no use to him. And now I have run away and abandoned his honorableness. O oh Lord, punish me, for I have not the strength to punish myself. Oh, honorable one, I hesitate to imagine your present state. Deep within the darkness, where no light shall ever shine. Will you continue to pray, even in such misery? Oh, honorable one, I hesitate. Deep, will you con- Oh, you must be another disciple of God. I, too, am on a quest to fight the demons in the name of the Lord. May I share God's power with you? Do not be bashful. We are both cut from the same cloth. You can learn miracles. There's the healing miracle. Always nice to just, just have. Just, hey, this heals you. No big deal. This one cures you of poison, which is also pretty fantastic. Just... Have that on hand, and you don't have to worry about holding uh, items around for that purpose. This one sends you back to the Nexus, which is like... I mean, sure, I guess. Hidden Soul. What does this one do again? Oh, it makes you... Wait, hard to detect by Black Phantoms. I think those are the invaders, if I remember correctly. 
yeah, the, the, bit, the big highlight is, of course, just having an additional heal source to use via your MP instead of you instead of via your uh, item uh, your collection of items which means that you can especially if you set up yourself with a, a ring that slowly heals your MP you then have this periodic heal you can use instead of items which means that you'll have a large overall larger backlog of items to heal with because you because some of them will be substituted for a replenishable uh, repeatable heal A miracle is a heavenly act, but spells are the acts of demons, the work of soul arts. They have similar effects, and yet one is clearly evil, and the other is clearly good. Magicians, in the end, are mere servants of the demons. A miracle is a heavenly act. They have similar if magician. I see. You wish to train yourself in stoicism. Very well. I pray we meet again. You know, that I, I imagine this guy standing in the middle of a big uh, room for the purpose of like clearing the way for like his penance as it happens, as like a lightning bolt strikes down or something. Because he's, he's just so peculiarly placed compared to every other character that is like actually settled in. I was gonna I was gonna walk up behind him so I could zoom in on his face, but he uh, turns to face you, which makes that kind of hard. I was wondering how much he might look like the uh, how much he might look like the similar bowl cut character from Dark Souls. He's real. He's kind of different, but you can't really get a zoom in on him very easily. The usual tricks don't really apply. Can I climb this? No. Just curious sometimes how much they've implemented the uh, climbing mechanic that is somewhat oddly present in this game. Let's see, has anyone moved in on this side? Don't really remember the thresholds and requirements. There we are. Anyone over here? Nope. Are you here to face the demons? If so, please free Sage Freak the Visionary from the Dungeon of Latria. I will help you however I can, and I can teach you elementary spells. Sage Freak is a gleaming hope for humankind, but I have not the power to save him alone. And he teaches you Soul Arrow, which is just the magic attack. There's the fire attack, the enchant your weapon temporarily with element attack. Of armor, skill, cloak, water veil, a few, a few decent tricks here and there. Frake is a great sage who systemized the magic of the soul arts to make it possible for human imitation. By observing the state of Boletaria and the demons within it, he's likely to pave the way for greater things. All the more reason that I must meet Frake as soon as possible. Me? Without doubt, I made my best effort to save Sage Freak. But I had not the strength. It's as simple as that. Besides, if I myself were captured, who would stand here and recruit rescuers? Besides, if I myself were ca I see. Suit yourself. Just ensure that you rescue Sage Freak as quickly as possible. It's interesting how much when they made when they made Dark Souls one, they just reused ideas from Dark Soul from Demon Souls, all it, including like Sage Frake being Big Hat Logan and the whole thing of like, yeah, please rescue this character for me that I depend upon. Please, I can't do it. I'm just the the student. That's not as cool. So as you can see here. I uh, beat two bosses in Boletarian Palace, and I think I died once total. So now you can see that the region, like the little statue there, has a glo ha is glowing very brightly, where the other four are still in their neutral states. And that's because the world tendency is tending towards pure white. I don't know if it's at pure white. There's not exactly a meter or anything, so like you have to just learn how to recognize how white or how dark they get. But that's the effect of me beating bosses. And it'll it'll get darker and darker the more you die within a region. And there's actually specific events that only sh only show up if you have pure white or pure dark world ten tendency or character tendency. And that stuff is a whole mess to manipulate. 
I thought that I would get around to doing a, a pure dark run sometime, but then so much time passed that I just was interested in playing the game itself again, as opposed to doing a gimmick run. Because it's just been an eternity. Alright, onwards.